Hey guys, this is Rachel from Queen Vacuum. And here's a question for you. Does your vacuum stink like dog? If so, you are completely not alone. That is one of the biggest complaints that we get in here. And aside from bringing it in here for us to clean it out and service it and de-stinkify it, what on earth do you do with that? <laughs> if you have a bagless vacuum, there's not a whole lot you can do other than like emptying it constantly, cleaning it out all the time, washing your filters, the, like the ones that you have to wash all the time, and replacing them constantly. Ooh. Um, if you have a bag machine, you're at an advantage. That bag is obviously gonna fill up with yucky hair and all the smells and be thrown out. If, if that's the case and you have a bag machine, yay. Uh, I would recommend getting the best bags that you possibly can for it. There's usually paper versions on some cheaper machines. Sometimes they'll have a HEPA cloth version. I recommend those. That's kind of like what Mila uses. Um, this is an example of a Mila machine. The nice HEPA cloth bags do filter out a lot more stuff. But there's another tip that I have that I think you really enjoy. We've kind of figured this out over time. There are some supplementary products that we highly recommend that really, really help tackle that unique odor of dogs um, without compromising your filtration or anything like that. So, da da enter Moso. Now these are actually, um, I think they're down in Oakhurst. Um, here in New Jersey, down the road, that's where they're distributed out of. But Moso is a, a sachet. It's a little bag full of activated charcoal. You can't really see it, but in here there's all these little charcoal granules, and we all know that charcoal works super, super good for absorbing stick. Now, the advantage of this is that um, this happens to be the small size. They come in a little packet like this. It's like 12 bucks. There's two and they're small size to like fit inside of a sneaker or something smaller like a gym bag. Um, but the advantage is that these also fit really well inside the compartment of your vacuum cleaner. So if you saw what I did just there. If I lift up my bag, I can tuck that sachet down inside the compartment. So as the dirty air and the hair and all that's going into the bag, the air that's going through that has some of that odor particle, the, oh, the charcoal is going to absorb some of that, which is really, really cool. So it's really not hurting anything. You're not putting anything inside the bag. Uh, this way it stays in the sachet. It's renewable. After about a month or so, maybe like when you go to change your bag, go ahead and change out your Moso. Um, just throw maybe the other one in it. Let this one sit outside in the sun and kind of refresh itself and start over. But that's cleaning up the air that's passing through the vacuum. Now, you'll see right here what I have is um, a Mila C3 Complete Cat and Dog. Uh, and you can kind of see here. There really isn't much difference between the canisters. The, the machines are the same. It's some of the accessories that change up for you. One of the features, aside from a nice big power nozzle and a turbo tool with a cat and dog, is that it comes with an activated charcoal filter in the exhaust. You can kind of hear it. So literally this has those same granules inside and that does help clean up that exhaust air of, um, of this like residual odors. The downside though is that it's not HEPA. Most Milas you're probably familiar with come with that um, high efficiency particulate air filtration you can see up close. That's pleated material, okay? That's what traps fine, fine particles, the allergenic particles that are like irritating to us. So if you have a cat and dog, it'll come with this charcoal, it helps with the air the smell, but it doesn't really do anything for the filtration if you're allergic to all that nasty stuff. So what I like to recommend is to either take a regular mealer that has the um, has the HEPA in it, keep that, and add the Moso to help clean the air. If you have a cat and dog, or you're buying a cat and dog, you can by all means upgrade a little bit, um, spring the extra, what is it, 15, 20 bucks, to get the HEPA filter, and then go forward and use a Moso to help clean up the air without compromising the filtration. You'll still get the maximum filtration possible. Okay, does that make sense? So, um, yeah, that's that. Up on the wall, you'll see Moso also makes different sized sachet bags. That happens to be the largest one. That one's great for like a damp basement or just a general room that you want to keep fresh. Maybe they're smoking or cooking odors. Um, they make a smaller one that's for maybe like the bathroom or a small area in the kitchen for your car and for closets and again um, the mini size there is one for the fridge also like suction cups in the fridge but the minis are my favorite and our biggest sellers in here 
because of the way that we can use them with the vacuums. So I hope that makes sense. Um, for those of you who have your pets and love them, uh, you don't have to suffer with the odors so much anymore. Do keep your machine as clean as you can. Change the bags frequently. You know, we recommend once a month is the average. Um, if you're having the odor trouble, maybe change the bag like a few days or a week uh, sooner just to play it safe. But definitely adding in Moso is a great, great way to keep the air smelling super fresh. You know that it's going to be clean with Amila. The particles and the allergens are going to be removed. The odors are a different particle, a whole different ball of wax and a little smaller. And this will help absorb some of that. So, yay! Um, other than that, stop in to get your Moso. Come into our store, visit us in the showroom, and um, pick some out. We can obviously show you the vacuums if you have questions about that. But in the meantime, be sure to visit queenvacuum.com. From there, you can educate yourself on all the products that we carry. We don't sell them on there. Um, you can call or come in for that, but you can educate yourself like a lot on our site. From that, you can jump to our YouTube channel to different cool videos on there. You can also jump to our blog where you want to check in on there and subscribe to that. And of course, our Facebook where there's all kinds of fresh news and happenings going on there. So use social media. We did it for you. Use it to your advantage. And otherwise, stop in as soon as you can. Say hi to us. Check out the showroom and all the cool stuff. And we will see you soon.